was surprising to me that uh, how steady it was, how demanding it was. Hurricane Hunters, Lieutenant Colonel Pierce. Basically, it was kind of like teeing up the balls, it seemed like, for a good six to eight weeks in there. August 24th, uh, we got the alert that we were going to be flying Hurricane Irene. Business is going to be busy. So not only is it the first named hurricane of the season, it's my co-pilot's first flight, but it is the first hurricane that looks like it's going to impact the U.S. mainland in three to four years, as well as skirt the entire coastline of the U.S. mainland all the way up through New York City. First time since the 30s that a hurricane is coming to New York Harbor. We're uh, basically trying to make a historic fix. Had the, the privilege of basically dropping a sensor over the Statue of Liberty. Wow. Definitely something special. We're airborne over the eye of Tropical Storm Lee, and we're cruising around probably 25,000 feet. Woo, look at that. For the first time in my life, that's the, the storm I saw was the swirl of the eye, center of circulation from above the storm. That's pretty wicked. We're normally down in the bowels of these monsters, getting our teeth kicked in by the turbulence. We actually have people in the squadron that's been here 20, 25 years and never seen that before. Probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, a real treat. So during the Tropical Storm Nate mission, we're down at 500 to 1,000 feet above the water. We're under this area of thunderstorms. It's not all, it's not a big pot of gold being down there low, although we did fly through a rainbow. Incredible! I mean, we're gonna go right through it. Here it comes, and we fly right through the rainbow. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've never had that happen before in all the years I've been flying, but it was really, really awesome. All right, Sean, here it is. Uh, Sean? Trop yes. Subtropical storm, Sean. North and west of Bermuda. This is my storm. This is a first for me. I've never had a storm with my name on it since I've been here in, what, 11 years? You don't see that too often. It's kind of a neat way to uh, round out 10 to 11 years of flying. If it would have been a Hurricane Sean five or six years ago, it probably would have been ripping and roaring. I used to be a wildcat, I'm not gonna lie. But it was a much milder Sean. We only had one flight in it, and that was pretty much the end of the season for us. I am an expected father in the next several months. Being that it's my first, I don't have a jump seat, your little flight seat for her yet, I guess, but uh, I do have a little Hurricane Hunter onesie for her. 